Golden Greek to the left of your screen, Demetrius Ivanis to the right, Mark Costello called the Roman. The Roman versus the Golden Greek. Main event. You got some information on these gentlemen, Jim? Yeah, Demetrius comes out of Dallas, Texas. He uh, comes in five foot six, 156 pounds. Mark Costello comes out of uh, Los Angeles, California, originally from Spokane. He now, uh, he's fought in Japan. Uh, he trains uh, with the fighting and famous Arkides brothers out of Los Angeles right now. Demetrius has got a great reputation of his own already. Yeah, he's, he's a, a legend. Small fighter, extremely powerful, very quick. The fighter's touch Coming gloves. out using his hands already. Staying in close. He's obviously got uh, uh, the reach advantage to Costello. Nice right roundhouse caught off the arm of Demetrius. I think, I think Demetrius, he's used to fighting guys bigger than him. He's, he comes in for his, his height, he's, he's heavy, but he wears it well. Yeah, he's going in and out. He, he'll back away from it when he has to. See, that's a beautiful understanding of the distance. Combination of kicks, side thrust, and then a right spinning back kick. Neither really landed. I think you'll see Costello use his reach. He's going to have yeah, to use his Yeah, he was using it there. He's throwing out that left, trying to keep Demetrius yeah. back a little bit so that he can uh, come in. There's a nice left roundhouse kick to the body. You can see what the fighting in Japan has done. Mark, Mark's kicks are executed a lot differently than Havana's kicks are. Yeah, I've noticed that. He's using a uh, more centrifugal force, a big swinging kick. A power kick. Demetrius has a tendency to use uh, a little straighter kick. He doesn't work round it up so much. No, he doesn't wind it up, yeah. See, a lot of these kicks, Mark, nice good combinations there, yeah. Beautiful. Havana's in a little close on the spinning back kick, going into the body. Referee, break them up. Round one. Good fight so far. Really good. These, both of these guys are in shape. They're in top physical condition. They're a couple, they're the couple of the best welterweight fighters in the United States right now. Fighting in close. Nice right in close. Demetrius covering up. Good left hand. Well, yeah, walk right Demetrius. in and just nail him with that left. They know each other. They know each other's style, so they've obviously trained for that. And they've been watching each other for a long time now, and I think you're going to see some good action. You see, a lot of times, Mark's, the kicks, look, they're being blocked by Havanas, but those kicks, you can't... They take it out of you after a while. You bet. That was round one, main event. Back for round two. Havanas to your right, to the left, Costello. So you notice also Demetrius' nice right roundhouse kick by Mark. Good left. Yeah, yeah. That one caught Havana's glance on him. Mark dances a lot more than the Greek does. Yeah, he's a little more flat-footed, Demetrius is. He yeah. just he really he, stalks an opponent. Really, he gets right in the center of the ring and knocks it out with you. You know, he reminds me a little bit of Smoke and Joe. Yeah. Frazier. Yeah, he keeps those hands up and he just starts wailing when he gets in close. Yeah. Covers up. Covers up well. Yeah. Right thrust kick. Coming out of the corner. Almost like rope -a <laughs> Pulling him into the corner and then kick him. Yeah. You also notice Havanas can get in very close. He's, and he can kick you from a very close distance. Nice right round kick. That was a double. Threw it low and then came up and hit him in the head. Good kicks by uh, Havanas. Both, both are throwing both very excellent, excellent kicks. kicks. Yeah. They're just different styles of kicks. It makes for a good combination. And we were commenting a bit earlier, one is like a, like a baseball bat swinging around at you, whereas uh, Demetrius' kicks come straight on like a battering ram. Yeah. Nice left jabs there. He's using that left to try to keep the Greek back off. And there's a spinning yeah. back kick, followed mm. immediately by another kick. Nice left body kick. Pinched, yeah, into the body. Good right kick. Mark is getting those kicks, those those long roundhouse There's kicks. There's that right, good right hand. left roundhouse kick by Demetrius up to the head. They've both taken a few shots. Oh, they it's early in the fight. They're uh, they're not tired enough that the, that the hands are really dropping. They're keeping their hands up high and, and taking a lot of those shots. Mark's keeping that jab out there, too. He keeps the jab to mm -hmm. keep the Greek at bay. It's possible as the fight goes on, of course. You take a number of those kicks in the arms, your arms start to get tired, and they'll start to drop. Yeah. And jump spinning back kick by Havanas there. Coming down near the end of this round. Good fight so far. That was the end of round two.
Bell coming up. There it is. Going to follow uh, the Greek over to his corner. He's so fast, he gets over the corner before his handlers do. He's looking around. Out comes the mouthpiece. Welcome back. We are now picking up action in round four. Round three was fairly even. Demetrius Havanis and Mark Costello. Both fighters still moving really well. Mark still dancing. Havanis is having a bit of problem overcoming that distance with Mark, I think. Getting in close. Yeah, he's trying to press. He's trying to get inside. He's got to get inside that jab. There's a beautiful left roundhouse kick. Costello to your left, Havanis to the right. Costello's been using that roundhouse kick all the way through the fight. He's just kicking, he's scoring with it, and also at the same time he's kicking and just trying to wear the Greek's arms down to bring drop him down. Havanis with a body shot. Again, clinching in close. Started to take a uh, th uh, attempt to at take down there. The referee broke him apart. They're allowed a three-second clinch. And at that point, the referee will break them up. They're allowed three seconds to grab the fighter and uh, attempt to sweep or take him down. Yeah. Right. Vanis and Costello. Vanis left. Bobbing and weaving. Beautiful left kick there by Costello. Vanis countered with a right roundhouse. It didn't seem to score on Mark. There's a spinning back kick by Vanis. Oh, nice combination. Left and right. Followed by kicks. Then he backs off. I don't think there's any question that uh, Havanis would like to win this by knockout. He's pressing it. Uh, I think they'd both like to win it by knockout. But Havanis is trying. He's trying to stay in close to Mark and get at his body. It's, he's he's going to have a hard time. He's, he's got the reach. He's got the height. I don't mean to sound one way. It's just that Havanis has got a reputation of being a real scrapper. He loves to get in and really get it on. No, oh, he is a scrapper. He gets in the center of the ring and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. We can't take away from Costello. He's got some nice combinations there. He's a very smart fighter. He's had the uh, the sense to stay back. Uh, we keep talking about maintaining that gap. Try to pick off the opponent. That was the end of round four.